What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. This is another tufted rug. Today, we are working on a portrait of Bob Marley. Now, before we get into tufting, you know we're going to have to restretch our frame so our canvas is as tight as possible. And we're going to double check that tightness all the way around. We're also going to clean our gun using compressed air. So we've got our yarn palette and we're gonna pick our colors. We're starting with a nice brown color to do the details in between the black of the hair. These little squiggly lines are super fun, but you have to have control over the gun or else you might put a hole in your canvas. I'm gonna remove the uh, reference photo and move it just a little bit higher so I don't have to constantly be looking down. Need to work on body mechanics. Now we're gonna fill with the orange color. This is gonna be a background as well. So we're doing these small little details first before we fill in with the majority of the black. Look at that nice long straight line. Real nice like. I'm getting my reference point for the next line I'm gonna do. And my gun is a little bit too high for me to hold it. I should honestly have stepped up a little bit higher on the stool so I had more control over it there. Just like right here, where I stepped up just a little higher and had more control. Now we're gonna outline that gray shade with some black and this is gonna be the fill of the hair. Getting as tight as we can, hugging those curves, really trying to fill in each little space with yarn. Going slow and controlled here is the key. Turn your gun setting all the way down. If your speed on your gun is too fast, you're, there's no way you're gonna be able to control it. So I recommend turning the speed of your gun all the way down. Working on the little details here. You can see just how slow and controlled I'm going. And nothing like a nice long straight line. So satisfying. Then we're gonna fill in a couple of colors. Red, yellow, green, brown, blue orange. Try to fill in this canvas today. Now for the edges, especially on the bottom right here, what I'm doing is I'm counting the lines to make sure that every single line lines up exactly as it should so that when I go to waterfall the edge, there isn't going to be extra canvas or extra material or extra yarn in a certain particular area. This dark brown shade is <clears throat> the darkest shade of the hair color that we're gonna fill in. So now that we've got majority of the black in there, we're gonna go with the, the small little areas that require color. This hyper detailed piece. If you really enjoyed watching this one and wanna see the final piece being made, click like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.